Scale Ventures. Been a while, got Gentry back in the studio. How's it going? Working on the Mugen Speed Run car. Uh, wanted to give you guys an overview. We've had this car running for a while now, made a couple good speed passes with it, yeah. but we haven't really dove in too much on what it took to build the car uh, and to get it from the nitro state that it was and was a pan car originally. Yeah, race car. Um, to an electric slash speed car. So we're going to show you some of the stuff we had to do to modify uh, not only the chassis, but the suspension, the motor setup, the gearing everything on this car to make it uh, speed ready. Yeah, we pretty much had to redo the whole car. The first significant thing we had to do on this car uh, is the battery tray. And as you can see, it has a dual battery tray, um, totally custom built out of aluminum. We had to drill the chassis. Uh, this is something I built really, so I'll probably know a little bit more about it than he will, but uh, had to drill the chassis, uh, modify some of the bolts to get it to fit. It's a flat bar aluminum. Um, we used, what were the battery trays? Techno out? battery trays. Okay, techno battery trays, you can buy them, they're bolt in. We used the two middle bolts, bolted them right to it, really strong. Have you ever had it break? No. Okay, so no. they're working so far. Um, come with Velcro straps, so that right there will get it ready to hold two four cell batteries, right? Yeah. Not an eight cell. Two four cell. Or, or you can do two two cell, two three cell, whatever fits what you're looking for. Yeah, sometimes they even run, I have a brick six cell, so I'll put a six cell over here. And you have to put a four cell or another battery on just the other side. Just to balance it. Just to balance And I tried it once with just the six cell and the car it doesn't even drive straight. So <laughs> and the weight off. A little bit of balance does. So that's the battery tray. Uh, what else do we have to do on this car? Wait, um, the motor mount. Yeah, the electric conversion. That was the biggest thing and took the most research. Mm -hmm. So the motor mount is from RC Monster. They make excellent products. Um, I was actually talking to one of the owners or somebody on the on their page and he said he could make me one but I'm impatient so this motor mount is actually from a low C monster truck not a low C um, associate yeah it's the, uh, I the can't remember what it was NGT yeah NGT, MGT. Yep. and it's it, bolts just right a, it looks on, pretty universal to me yeah it's just an L bracket motor flat mount. bottom mm -hmm. And I did it, just threw on two screws, they look completely flush. You can see how it's just, that's where the nitro motor went, and mm -hmm. then... So you used the holes screws. for the nitro motor? No, I didn't. Oh, okay, only. you didn't. You did your own holes. Okay, you counter -shot. But I only have it in two holes, two six millimeter bolts or four millimeter bolts. And it's held up good, no problems? No problems. And that's a big motor, I mean, it fits, what yeah, is that? Yeah, it's a Castle 2200. Okay. Um, Any swap, modifications to the motor itself? Yeah, swapped in some of the high dollar Boca ceramic bearings. Okay, so we got the battery tray and yeah. we got the motor mount. Uh, what about the ESC? That doesn't even look like an ESC on here. It's, it looks like a fan. It's an ESC. It's a <laughs> Castle XL2 that I had to take apart to fit in there. Oh yeah, you can see it. Okay, upside There's down a here. Bit. You can see it from the bottom. Yeah, it's actually in two pieces. It's missing the plastic part of the case, so mm -hmm. I avoided that warranty. Real quick. Yeah. So is this fan, did you add this on? or The fan was it? from the top of the case, and I okay. just flipped it to the bottom, and it's just shoe good on there. Okay. Just to blow some air on the, yeah, on the it, board. It hasn't gotten hot yet, and then fall. See, so you look at it, you'd think that was the ESC, but that's actually the Castle 20 amp uh, yep, 20 B amp BEC. BEC. Yep. Okay. So we've got a BEC uh, XL2 fifth scale e ESC. Um, did you have to cut the chassis to get that to fit in there? Yes, I had to cut. There used to be a little I'm sorry, the carbon fiber brace in there. No, there used to be a Y brace up here. Okay. And I had to cut that out. Okay. But so if you want to run an XL2, don't be afraid to cut up some carbon fiber. Yeah. Wear your dust masks because yeah. that hair is pretty bad. Uh, oh, also another thing, in order to do the battery tray, we had to raise, uh, there's an idler bearing right here for your belt drive. We had to make a custom, uh, we had a piece of, what was it? Carbon fiber. Eighth inch thick or sixteenth inch thick carbon fiber. Because it actually went it. on the other side where yeah, the motor was. and the motor was in the way. And it doesn't it fit. So, well, motor, electronics, mm -hmm. servos, I still run mechanical brakes. Um, the original ones, right? The original mechanical okay. brakes. It's not modified. Um, just the same. Service Solar service. That I use in everything. Little uh, $15 specials. Yeah. 
You know, when they probably made, the one thing you've never replaced on this car. Um, they work fine. I just have my receiver mounted in there. It's you know shoe good in there, so it's really not going anywhere. Running in So there's three things you need to build this car. You need shoe goo, zip ties, and what else? Let's Piece see. of aluminum. Aluminum. Shoe goo, zip ties, and aluminum. Instant speed car. And it'll go 120. <laughs> Now, what about suspension? Any everything stock still? Did you change um, anything? Springs? Well, I got this used, obviously, because okay. I'm not paying six hundred and fifty for a brand new one. But the guy who had it before me obviously raced it mm -hmm. on road in, in nitro yeah. form, and they have crazy wheel angle setups. So they can get good corner. I just broke up my gauge and made everything straight up and down. Okay, so zero. Zero was around camera. the board. Okay. And, and that way you get true tracking when you're when you're going fast. You yeah, I just want it to go straight. That's my phone. <laughs> A little interruption there, pardon that. Time out. Um, and stiff, you know, as much preload as I could on the springs. So fully stiff rear, fully soft front? Fully stiff. Fully stiff front, but low. Yeah. Okay. It's very low. It's and you had to trim the bumper, was that to fit the body? That's to fit the body. This body. This body, okay. It fit that body just fine. Okay. And it's Again. all factory body. Now these are, and what What are these bodies for? Just a 1A scale pan car. Okay. They and all you trim fit. it for the, the little brace that goes right yeah. here. Anybody doing this, I've seen people take this off and not use it. Mm -hmm. I'd um, recommend keeping it. Yeah. 100 miles an hour, your car flips upside down. That yeah. saves your batteries from becoming road rash. It's, well, cool. So it doesn't seem like too much work to make it. I mean, it really wasn't that much work no. to make it a, a speed car. A lot of planning in this video help you guys out. I yeah. did all the planning and money. That that's another thing about these cars. Yeah. Be prepared to throw some money at it because I don't. You can't run to your local hobby shop and pick up parts for these. No. Uh, or anything that'll fit really. So even the tires. There you have it, guys. That is how you. Uh, get started everything's gonna have to be custom um, I can see you use some plexiglass in your ESC mount but yeah. everything's gonna be custom when you want to make one of these either electric or speed really yeah I mean there's no such as thing a, as a bolt-on as an electric car just for track use and stuff I think mm -hmm. it'd be a great car and probably after I go fast with it it might be hard to track the car yeah. because I mean they're they handle great that's what they're made to do mm -hmm. but they go so fast and it's so smooth I've driven this quite a bit before we actually got to get together and make this video and it is with the belt drive over the shaft drive you guys all saw my my off the dm1 that yeah, happened shape. to crash <laughs> the leg video yeah <laughs> sixty thousand hits instantly yeah but this car is so quiet and it's so smooth to drive it's a completely different I bet, experience yeah. to drive definitely and it's very easy well cool Appreciate you stopping by. Uh, look out, we're gonna have another video coming soon. Hopefully, uh, we got some updates we're gonna put on this car. Um, yeah. Bodies, parts. Bodies, tires, belts, gears, and we made some speed passes on it. So we'll tell you about that. So stay tuned guys, appreciate it.